Get back over here. Stop plotting. Welcome back to the Witchcraft and Wizardry. I hope you're all doing well. We ran a few errands in the last episode. We helped out the Weasleys deal with T Trevor the Toad's invasion and explore Nocturne Alley and did some other cool stuff, you know, flying around the Quidditch pitch. Um, we had to beat some, beat a lap or something from Marcus Flint and Neville wants us to find his toad again. <laughs> Somewhere around the Quidditch pitch. So we're going to probably start with that today. Oh, hello. There's uh, some Slytherins. I guess they're not too happy after they lost against me. Huh. Hmm. Theodore not. These Gryffindors are unbelievable. They've hung up their banners in the Slytherin part of the Quidditch pitch. What a dumb prank. Hmm. Hey, maybe you could help take them down. Doesn't matter who you support. This kind of behavior is unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> no good guys, no bad guys, just business indeed. But we're doing that later. We need to find Trevor again. Can you help me find Trevor? Hello, I'm looking for a toad. Hmm, I think I heard croaking around here earlier, but I can't remember where exactly. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, around here. Hmm. Maybe these guys over here can help. Have you got dialogue? Hmm. Yes. Hello there. General Ravenclaw student. <laughs> I'm looking for a toad. A toad. If it's Longbottom's toad again, and it got lost around here, I suppose it might be in one of the Gryffindor spectator towers. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, so that narrows it down. I think this is one of the Gryffindor ones. I believe, yes. Okay. Only problem is, there's probably quite a few Gryffindor spectator towers, so it might be quite hard to figure out which one Trevor the Toad's at. There are these fellows over here. Hmm. Might be able to help. I haven't heard anything. Maybe you should try the other side of the Quidditch pitch. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Well, that will be a bit hard to narrow down because there's, what, two, I think? Fortunately, we got this, so we can just fly over there. See if these students know anything. Hello there. Uh, I'm looking for a toad. I think I heard croaking from the top of this spectator tower beside me earlier. Thank you. Okay. Well, fortunately, I could just zoom up there. That is the advantage of having a broom. <laughs> it's flying. Oh, there he is. There's Trevor. Get back over here. Stop plotting. There we go. That's dealt with. Now we just need to return to Neville. And while we're at it, we might as well um, do this quest right here. Because we can just do it from the top. Which one was that? No good guys, no bad guys, just business. Exactly. That that that's just uh not on. <laughs> so I guess we just go and have to take all these banners down that we we replaced in the last episode. <laughs> and well, we we're getting the money, so that that's all what we're about. We're here for the money. Well, that was a very short-lived prank. The Slytherins definitely weren't too happy about it. They were very quick to take notice. But, you know, it's just business, after all. You've taken down the Gryffindor banners? Good. What a dumb prank. Here, I promise to make it worth your time. You've earned this. <laughs> Twice the money. <laughs> Twice the quest, double the money. He's like, what a stupid prank. And I'm just... Sitting there like, yeah, it's a really stupid prank, isn't it, to swap it out, and yet I, uh, did it. Ah, huh. oh, you found him. Thank you very much. I lose stuff all the time. Huh. No worries. Toad Hunts is done once again. Okay. I think now we're going to resume our quest in trying to locate the Shrieking Shack. I'm not sure if we have to go to Hogsmeade for that, or if we can just enter via the Whomping Willow. I was hoping to do it via the Whomping Willow, because it would be a bit interesting. But... If we can't find it, we might have to try Hogsmeade. So... I'm gonna go and search for it. 
Hopefully it's not too far. Hopefully it's a bit easier to find in our last, compared to last episode. Ah, here it is. This definitely looks like a Whomping Willow. Aha, uh -huh, it is. It's actually kind of hard to see. Maybe because it's night time, but like, and I'm just blind, so maybe it's that. I suppose we can just head inside. Is there anything on the outside that's of interest? Not really. I probably don't want to try and apparate up there in case it uh, doesn't like it. Ooh, the music. Lumos. Aha. Going down to the passages. Okay, so I think I'm in the Hogsmeade part now. I think we just traveled there. So, the Shrieking Shack shouldn't be too far. Oh, we're going the wrong way. No, we want to go back this way. <laughs> it's so dark, it's so hard to figure out which way is which. I suppose it makes it more interesting. Ah, oh, here we go. This is new stuff. Okay. So I wonder what's making these mysterious noises in the Shrieking Shack. There's only one way to find out, I suppose. Hopefully it's nothing too... Oh. Poltergeists? Defeat 10. Ooh. I don't think I've actually encountered any yet. Ooh. Hopefully they're not too, uh, annoying. <laughs> okay, here we are. Oh, and there's one right there. We should probably... Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you can do that. If you hold shift and press Q, you're able to just, like, quick... Um, select your spell instead of having to go into the menu. Oh, that was a poltergeist. Hello. Oh, it definitely does not look friendly. Yeah, definitely not. Get out of here. Ghosts. Get out of here. We got half of them. I think they'll probably just come to us because, well, hopefully they do. Seven. Oh, there was another one. Another two. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. And then one more. Ah, oh, damn it. Went through the wall. There he is. Okay, return to Aberth Aberforth Dumbledore. Yes. Once we clear out these other poltergeists. Show yourself. Oh, thanks. Fortunately, they're not actually doing too much damage to us. Because we've got the, um... That knight armor set. So... Not really taking a whole lot, which is nice. Oh no, is there anything in here? No. Okay. I suppose poltergeists are probably better than a werewolf, so... Or two werewolves. <laughs> I think we've overstayed our welcome, so we're probably going to head out of the Shrieking Shack and return to Aberforth Dumbledore. Ooh. It's pretty cool. It's just like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's another one of those... Poltergeists. But. Let's go. Let's fly. And. Turn to Dumbledore. The other Dumbledore anyway. <laughs> Aberforth. I have taken care of the noise. Hmm. hmm good. I said I'll give you something in return. So, I'll, so I will. Take this. Hmm. Thank you. Dealt with those poltergeists. In the Shrieking Shack. I think next we'll probably have a word with this Slytherin student. Uh, some shopkeeper, it was the shopkeeper at Borgen and Burks, wanted us to, or he ordered an item and you have offered to deliver the package. So we have to track 
the blaze of beam me down. And we have to start in the Slytherin common room, so... I don't know where it actually is. Oh wait, it's down in like in the dungeons, isn't it? So we could probably go down to potions. Ah, Snape's back. He's actually like here. When we last saw him, which was a while ago, you were invisible. But, you know, he's here. He's, he's normal and all that. What do you wish to know? Do you enjoy teaching potions? I initially applied for the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts. But Dumbledore instead employed me in the position of potions master. It may have escaped your notice, but life isn't fair. I agree. Tell me about the Slytherin house, since we're going to go there. Slytherin was founded by Salazar Slytherin. Now, I am the head of the house. Slytherins are characterized by ambition and cunning. Of course, Salazar Slytherin also highly valued and favored pure blood students. And although students of any blood status can now be placed in Slytherin, a muggle-born Slytherin is a rare occurrence. Slytherin has won many house cups and is a very successful and sought-after house here at Hogwarts, especially within certain pure blood communities. The house sigil that is the emblematic animal of the house is a serpent, and the colours of the house are green and silver. The patron ghost of Slytherin is the Bloody Baron. Ah, oh. there's some stuff that was interesting. Don't think I knew all that stuff actually. Um, like the, the ghost as well, like the, I didn't realize that, but interesting stuff. Now we shall head on down to the Slytherin house, which is this way and find this student, a tougher puff, Slytherin dungeons and some potions. What's this? It's a secret. Oh, it's like a secret track. Uh, essence of gillyweed required. What's down there? We've got some. What's down here then? I wonder. <laughs> Getting carried away going down to... Oh, hello, hello. These things... No, 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 we, we, we don't want to deal with you. <laughs> I just want to see what's down here. Grindy Glow. Get out of here. Anything? Oh, oh they're, they're catching up. Oh, no, there's so many. There we go. Should slow him down a little bit. It's over here. Oh. Is this fella? Hello. Uh, who are you and why are you here? Marietta Edgecombe. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. You see, there is an underwater plant growing here in the caves beneath Hogwarts that I'm interested in for my herbology class. Only problem is, I can't swim. Maybe you could get it for me. I was sure to give you something in return. I'll do it. Thank you. The underwater plant is bright blue, so it should be easy enough to spot. Just return to me when you have it. Okay, I guess we're being sidetracked and finding an underwater plant. Okay, so I imagine we have to go under there. So where is this then? Just some like place in the middle of nowhere that this person has found. Ooh. Oh, does it go and snitch? Aha, thank you. Now I suppose we should probably return to uh, going down here, but I th we're gonna need to consume another uh, gillyweed. Gillyweed. Oh, wait. Did we just consume our last one? Uh, I think we did. I thought I had like I thought I had like seven of them. Do you have any? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, hmm. Where can we get gillyweed? So where is this at? Oh, so this is like, yeah, the dungeons or something. 
Okay, well, we're going back to her later because <laughs> I don't have a potion that allows me to kind of breathe underwater. Oh, okay, we're in this area. I suppose while we're at it, we can now <laughs> return to the quest we were doing earlier. The Hand of Glory. And we, I suppose we need to find the Slytherin common room. Oh, visibility card. Well, not a visibility card, <laughs> a wizard card. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I think I've found the Slytherin common room now. It's just so weird how it's like at the very bottom of the castle, whilst all the other houses, I think, or Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, I think, are at like the top. It's just so weird. It makes them feel like they're kind of like the peasants. Okay, because they're at the very bottom. Um, you lost. The prefects tend to hang around the study hall. Hmm. No, I'm all good, thank you. What a polite Slytherin. But they do have this, though. They do have, like, this... I don't know. Is it like an aquarium? I, I don't know. I say aquarium. <laughs> it just feels like an aquarium. Oh, my God. I honestly thought it was Neville. But... Um, okay. So we need to find... Slytherin person. Hmm. All my answers are pure bloods. I wonder if you could say the same about yourself. Well, hmm. How rude. Oh, it's the bloody Baron over there. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Having to deal with this whole blood status obsession is a bit hmm. much. I agree. Someone who has some sense around here. Hello. Hmm. Well met, young student. I'm the ghost of the Slytherin house. Why do they call you the bloody Baron? I figured that much was obvious. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, goodbye. <laughs> I have a riddle for you. How does Potter stir a cauldron? He holds his wand and the world revolves around him. Ha. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. It's a bit cold and dark and wet down here. I wonder what the other common rooms look like. I bet they are worse. Mm. No, this one seems like that's the worst. <laughs> hmm, so I wonder where this person is. This is Draco. Mm. Hey, what do you want? Nothing. I'm just looking for some kid. Who ordered a hand of glory? Hello. I suppose now it's a matter of just going through every single one of these. I need to find a person. Hmm. So this person does not appear to be here. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hang on. Can we operate up there? Oh, we can. There's nothing up here, though. Well, unfortunately for me, it appears that the quest is bugged. I've Yeah, because I've spoken to every NPC here that is speakable. And I've been through the rooms like three times. I've left and returned. Um, and theoretically, they should be able to respawn if they're not there. And nothing. Hmm. And that's the only area to slip in common rooms. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to try and do something else. <laughs> because that's not going to work. Um, the only thing I can do, maybe, is collect the underwater plant. But we do need to find a gillyweed. We need, it, we need to make or find a gillyweed potion. So... I suppose we can probably just go and do that, maybe. Yeah, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to track down this Slytherin person, but it doesn't seem like that he wants to cooperate. Okay. Strength, invigoration. Oh, we can make one. Okay. We got one. We got one gillyweed potion. Huzzah. I have returned. And I've got a... An, a Gillyweed potion. And I only have one. Three minutes. Oh, we didn't actually consume it. Okay. I suppose we gotta go in, find this blue. It's like a special plant that glows blue or something. We're probably gonna need our Bombarda Maxima. Oh, oh, that. Poison. Poison. Get out of here. Don't want any of your nonsense right now. <laughs> I 
I need to find the underwater plant. Aha. This is it, by the looks of it. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. Okay, now we have to get out of here. Quick. Well, see, those things move quite slow, so we do have the movement advantage. Okay. I don't know if there was anything else in here or not. Doesn't appear to be anything. There was another, like, underwater, like, passage. But... Yeah, there's, like, one over here. I don't know how much time we've got. You can't really check, eh? Hopefully it's just, like, right here. Oh, hello. This is outside of Hogwarts. Huh, that's cool. It's pretty neat. Marietta. Oh, you have it. Oh, you've got it. Wonderful. This is so exciting. Here, take this for your troubles. Thank you. Very nice. Got some more money. Um, I don't think there was actually too much else down here. I haven't really checked this way, actually. That kind of leads back up into, like, the dungeon's Slytherin area. And that leads it back up, too. I wouldn't mind having another look. Or if we can make it. We should be able to. Come on. It's right there. Quick. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. We almost... Almost died. Where is this at? This is so cool though, this is one of the things I love about this map, that you can go somewhere and wind up in a completely different place and it's just so like vast and and like expansive. You know, all these like little nooks and crannies hidden all over the place and it makes it feel like that much more alive, The like the map and all that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. See, I don't think we've actually been here either. Like, I remember being over there. I don't... I just, <laughs> it's just so big, this place. So big. And I love it. Um, was there anything in here? No. Okay. So, I think... Uh, I'll wrap up today's episode here. I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And... I will see you all in the next video. So take care and have a good day.